Um, in what cases would it not be advisable for a breast cancer patient to have an oophorectomy after treatment? Nadine, that's yours. Okay. Well, well, actually, a perfect question for Nadine. Okay. Well, actually, I think one of the misconceptions is that every woman who is diagnosed with breast cancer is at increased risk of ovarian cancer. And actually, a lot of physicians are misinformed about that. And it's not. I think the major link is between these BRCA genes I was talking about, these BRCA1 and BRCA2. So inheriting an abnormal gene puts you at risk for both cancers. Now, not every family that has breast and ovarian cancer can be explained by these two genes. OK. Well, I think that sometimes the ovaries are removed because there's a fear of developing ovarian cancer. That's what I was just addressing. Sometimes ovaries can be removed as part of the therapy for treating breast cancer for those breast cancers that are fed by estrogen. There are many ways to deal with that estrogen, which could be food for the cancer. There are medicines such as tamoxifen um, in menstruating women. But another way and an option is often to either turn off the ovaries or to remove them. Um, but I think that there are, it has not yet been proven that removing the ovaries is better necessarily than treating with a medication. And I think that there are effects of inducing menopause on bones, potentially other uh, medical sequelae. So I think that it would, uh, you wouldn't, there would be no rationale for doing that necessarily in a woman whose tumor, for example, is not fed by or driven by estrogen. So I think if it's part of the therapy to lower or block estrogen, that should be made in consultation with a physician. But I don't think for every woman with breast cancer, removing the ovaries really is the proper strategy. Would you agree, Cliff? Yeah. So uh, every surgical procedure has complications. And it's easy to understand the temptation to just say, take out the ovaries in every woman with breast cancer. And uh, emotionally, I think that's actually, a, there's a, a lot of even appeal to that. But if one were to simply, as a blanket rule, always do that, the, the, essentially the harm would, would outweigh the benefits, even though it wouldn't seem that way to the individuals. There'd be people with hernias and infections and so forth, surgical complications that, that in the end wouldn't be balanced by a benefit, unless you did it in the subpopulation where it made a difference. And, and if I may, there is um, a series of ongoing clinical trials being done globally to address your very important question. And uh, we expect that the results of these studies will be available in 2012. So it will not take that long to get the, the true answer to your, to your question. Yeah.